Hi, my name is Saul Kerpelman. I'm an investor in Dendrion Corporation, and I'm making a YouTube video just to try to correct some uh, public misperceptions about Dendrion's new treatment for metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer called Provenge. Uh, it's been widely reported that the benefit of Provenge is four extra months of life, uh, and that's a formulation that's gotten repeated over and over again. Uh, the first reporter to write a story about Provenge used it, and then it gets you repeated over and over again in news stories. And um, it results from a misperception about the statistics as to Provenge. It is true that the FDA approved Provenge based on uh, Provenge having a 4.1 month median survival advantage. And uh, just as an aside, that's the highest survival advantage ever demonstrated in a treatment for late stage prostate cancer, something that uh, frequently doesn't make it into uh, the articles or the videos that you see. But the 4.1 months is not four extra months of life. Uh, usually the formulation is uh, this drug is not worth the money for four extra months of life. But um, it's kind of sad to see reporters saying that, but it's even more sad to see medical professionals saying that. Because the fact is that um, the median survival advantage only uh, is very difficult concept for people and apparently even doctors to understand uh, as a statistical concept but I'm going to try to explain it. It's not super hard, but uh, it goes like this. In this impact study, which was the pivotal study that resulted in the uh, approval of Provenge, um, at 21 months, uh, one half of the men in the control group had died, and uh, it took 25 months before one half of the men in the treatment group had died. And that's called the median survival advantage, because by definition in statistics, the median is the halfway point in a series of numbers. And so the halfway point in how many patients were in the, the treatment group was 21 months. Uh, and the halfway point in the, uh, I'm sorry, the treatment group was 25 months and the halfway point for the control group was 21 months. So the 4.1, 4.1 month median survival advantage just means that that's where the halfway point was reached. And so when a doctor says taking Provenge might give you four extra months of life, that's just a, a misunderstanding, a misstatement of the statistical concept. Um, the halfway point for the treatment group was reached four months later than it was reached for the control group. The, a, a much more uh, relevant statistic for a man who's trying to decide whether he should take Provenge or not is the three-year survival figure. The three-year survival figure for uh, Provenge showed that 38% um, more men lived to three years after they took Provenge uh, than men in the, the non-treatment group and so uh, there's almost a 40% improvement in three-year survival with Provenge. Um, another statistic that's relevant and much, uh, uh, much more important to a man who's deciding whether to take Provenge or not is the um, hazard ratio. The hazard ratio is the reduction in the risk of death. And the impact study showed that the hazard ratio for Provenge was 22.5%, meaning a 22.5% reduction in the risk of death, uh, which is very significant and which should give uh, men who are considering taking Provenge great hope that uh, there could be meaningful life extension from the use of Provenge. And by meaningful, I mean um, there's always a range, um, but uh, it's 
well known that there were some men in the study who lived for years and years and years after they received Provenge, uh, some of whom had uh, prognoses from their treating physician at the time that their uh, cancer metastasized um, of life expectancies of 18 months or two years. Uh, one man in particular uh, who, who was willing to give up his anonymity uh, in order to try to help others, uh, a man named Eduardo Garcia, uh, received Provenge uh, and lived for an additional nine years. And so to say, the question is, uh, should I take this drug in order to get a few extra months? Um, anyone who is asking that question uh, is, uh, to put it um, gently, not being advised properly uh, as to what the decision is, because it's not about, as I said, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but it's very important to a man who's considering whether to take Provenge or not. It's not a question of, uh, is it worth it to get a few extra months of life? It's, does this drug have, does this treatment have the possibility of giving me years and years of extra life if I um, can get myself uh, into the what's called the right-hand side of the curve, which means um, the men who are the worst off uh, were going to die first, and then the men that are left after that first, say, half of the population, which is what's reached at the median, the, the men that are in the second half uh, and that are getting life extension uh, are people whom the drug is helping. And if you are lucky enough to be one of the people that the treatment uh, really works for, you're talking about getting not just four extra months of life, but you're talking about potentially getting many extra years of life, as I said, as much as nine years of life in one case. Um, so it's FDA approved. Uh, it's covered by Medicare. Uh, it's being reimbursed uh, for men who qualify uh, f uh, under the label. And as I said, the label is for men with hormone refractory, um, metastatic, uh, asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic prostate cancer. And so um, I really hope that anyone who's viewing this video uh, will take this information to heart um, and not make their decision based on uh, a presentation to them that this drug might get you a few extra months of life. Um, it, if the treatment works for you, uh, it may get you many extra years of life. Thank you.